Hi everyone, we welcome you all to this week Tech Tuesday webinar on Cloud Data Governance Healthcare Case Study. Today's speakers are Sachin Jain, who is a Principal Solutions Architect, Rashmi Prabhu and Akshada Sable, who are Solutions Architect from CSA team. Before we start the session, let's go through some of the housekeeping tips. The webinar is for one hour that includes 15 minutes Q&A. You can post your queries in Q&A box, which will be answered at the end of the presentation. All participants will be muted during the presentation. The session will be recorded and it will be available on our Infra Support YouTube channel and Success Portal where you will be able to download the slide deck. Please feel free to submit your suggestion or feedback for this session in the post-webinar survey. The Success Portal is a micro-learning platform that offers free, unlimited learning to all the registered users. This feature-rich platform helps you learn and adopt to Informatica products better. The following are a few important links that you can go over later. This will help you in your product adoption journey with Informatica. Over to you, Sachin, Rashmi, and Akshada. Thank you. Thank you, Harshita. Welcome you all for today's Tech Tuesday on Cloud Data Governance Healthcare Case Study. So on today's webinar, we'll be discussing on a single use case from a healthcare industry where a business user is asked to publish a patient report and make this report available either for the end user consumption or some analytical purpose. Now we'll discuss on how can we leverage this cloud microservices to solve this corresponding use case. Right, and how can we catalog and govern this asset as per the process and policies involved? So, agenda for today's meeting will be overview, right, and then we'll explain on different cloud services that are involved for data governance journey, one specific case study, and how can we solve this using different uh, CDGC features, and then followed by demo. Now, sliding into next deck, which explains you fragment portion on what are we going to do and how are we able to achieve this. So now let's talk about, let's consider one business use case where a business user in a healthcare industry right, is responsible for validating and submitting a report for better business decision. Right Now, how can we make use of CDGC product to solve this use case and what are the different set of activities that are involved by different set of users to achieve this goal? So here are the underlying activities that are done by a data analyst. So he will be able to search a report efficiently and find the source of the data. He will also understand who are the stakeholders that are involved. He will also check the quality results and policies for validation. Then make sure the report is trusted and can be published to end user consumption. Right. So now jumping into next slide where we explain on different services, microservices that are involved and what is the functionality of each set of services. Right. To get started, uh, let's consider microservice administrator. So if you're using Informatica Cloud, you can add the details of your Informatica Cloud organization into this administrator tool. You will be able to create connection and as well as monitor the status of your secure agent. Next to, uh, we'll jump into the next service, which is Metadata Command Center. Metadata Command Center is a metadata management application for the cloud platform. It's like a one-stop solution for administrators, data stewards, and etc. Here, a user can a uh, user will be able to create the catalog by enabling the metadata, data classification, glossary association, and data profiling. Right. So he will be also able to extract and store enriched data from diverse source system, uh, which is present in your organization. Once the execution gets completed, right, he will be able to view the result in catalog. So data governance catalog helps you understand, analyze, interpret, and govern large volumes of data which is present in your organization. Right? We can have different quality checks using the service uh, called as data quality. Right? You can organize your metadata as well as view how a data flows from one system to another and also see relationship between those uh, assets. Right? You can also document those assets and add business context which will create more value to it. Right. This is all about data governance and catalog. Now, at last, we'll jump into last service, which is data marketplace. Data marketplace as a one liner, we can say it's a shop like experience for your end user or consumer. It also accelerates the business value for your organization. It allows people to source business value from data, enabling true data democratization. Right. These are all about the microservices which are involved for today's use case. Now we'll move into next deck, uh, 
वेर विल डिस्कस ऑन अ बिजनेस यूज केस वेर अ बिजनेस यूजर हैज रिक्वेस्टेड राइट टू फॉर अ रिपोर्ट टू शो द लिस्ट ऑफ पेशेंट हु आर डायग्नोज विद कोविड to solve this corresponding use case we have three actors who are involved so one is administrator we have data analyst and we have a marketplace administrator so rashmi who is a administrator is responsible for creation of the connection and execution of the so system which has patient health record and report right so once she gets completed the next task goes to the data analyst akshada right akshada who is a data analyst her main responsibility is for validating the patient report who are diagnosed with covid she will assess the quality and enrich it and contextualize it based on the business and technological perspective and then she will be using different functionalities which are available in cdgc like lineage where she can see the origin of the system where the data flow is coming from she can also check whether all the sensitive data has been tagged right so once the validation meets the business justification she can then certify it and notify to marketplace administrator so sachin who is a marketplace administrator receives notification from akshada right so in order to submit the corresponding report into the marketplace for end user consumption he prepares the asset and publish it for end user consumption now any end user or consumer can raise a request order for this corresponding asset so these are the, all the steps that are involved for uh, for solving this corresponding use case now we'll jump into demo where the entire process which will be explained through demo so rashmi who is the administrator user will use two source system in order to scan the information which uh, related to the patient record and patient repository she makes of makes use of two source system one is the oracle relational source and one is a tableau for extracting this information right in order to scan this source system she will be uh, using administrator tool to create those connection in order to create those connection she will click on connection and select new connection right and then based on it she can select the a type whether it's a oracle or it's a tableau so we have already created connection uh, for tableau so once she is done creating it right she clicks on save then she will navigate to metadata command center where she will create the catalog sources right she will click on new and select the catalog source type which she requires so due to the time constraint we have already created the catalog source for oracle and tableau so in oracle she will select the connection which was created in the administrator then in the configuration section she will select the agent where she wants to run select the metadata extraction data profiling data classification relationship discovery and glossary association once she has selected all those information then she will navigate to the filter section where she will select the schema which has the patient repository then she will give a uh, she will save that corresponding catalog source and give it a run so once the execution gets completed right she will validate the result so as you can see the metadata has been extracted for oracle she will validate the number of tables the number of schema the number of view which has been extracted for the oracle same thing she will create a catalog source uh, for uh, tableau by clicking on new catalog source and select the type tableau so we have created tableau so in tableau she will uh, select the connection which was created in the administrator then in the configuration section she will select the runtime environment same thing with the filter she will select the uh, she will select the workspace or the worksheet or workspace which has that corresponding report right and give it a run so once the execution gets completed she will validate the result right so once the entire process the creation and execution is done now the task will go to the data analyst whose whose main task is to validate and certify the report so now akshada who is playing a data analyst role will showcase what a data analyst will do in uh, data governance and catalog over to you akshada thank you rashmi thanks for walking us through the overview and the details on resource configuration now let us go through how a data analyst can use cloud data governance catalog to understand what data is available 
The data analyst can use CDGC, which is nothing but cloud data governance and catalog, to understand the available data and contextualize it from the business and technological perspective. Let us view the cloud data governance from Akshuda's perspective, who is a data analyst. The business has requested Akshuda to provide a report showing list of all the COVID infected patients in the healthcare database which is available with them. Akshuda now logs in to the CDGC service. She is searching for the data to help her report back to the business. To ensure data is fit for the purpose, she is expected to find associated business definitions, quality scores along with the data lineage flows. All this information will give her some confidence to locate and select the appropriate data. Now when Akshuda logs in, she is brought to the home page and some personal dashboard. As she is quite new to the data catalog, she can use the getting started links, which is a help for any new user. She can also click on the help icon on the right top corner, which will help her find some other useful resources such as support videos and walkthroughs. At a glance, when she logs in, she sees summary of assets in the catalog. She can see there are mix of business and technical assets. Now business assets include the business terms, domain, subdomains, data sets, policies, systems, wherein the technical assets include the systems which have been scanned into the catalog. The scanners automatically harvest the system metadata to catalog the data sets and columns. Akshada can also browse the business and technical assets to see the hierarchy. Users can create multiple dashboards and as you can see on the screen, Akshada has created the customized dashboard with the name Healthcare where there are widgets summarizing information about the technical and business assets related to the healthcare. As we can see, we have a personalized dashboard with multiple widgets adhering to different results. In the healthcare dashboard, you can see there is a notice board which tells information about what is this dashboard for and we can see different widgets. One widget is present for data quality results for healthcare wherein she sees different different data quality measures and how these measures are associated with the data elements. When she looks at the completeness data quality rule, she understands there are multiple rules associated with this measure. And when she looks at the first rule, which is check input is not null, there are 61,440 rows against which the rule has been executed, among which there are 2,048 rows which have failed to be compliant with the rule logic. In the similar fashion, we can see the information for all the rules. Akshada can also see the business terms related to the healthcare. So this is the summary view of all the business terms related to the healthcare industry. So as you can see, physical health and condition is one of the business term. Mental health and condition is another business term. Ill health. So all these are business terms associated with the health industry. She can also see the governance tickets assigned to her, which are specific to the data set, which are specific to the data quality rule occurrences. Now remember that business has requested Akshuda to share a report with the list of all the COVID patients. Now Akshuda, as a business user, knows that the patient information is uploaded to the system via web portal. So she is going to just search with the keyword patient web portal. She finds a system with the name patient web portal. Now she can see the description which says this is a system containing the details of all the patients admitted to the hospital. In the overview tab she also understands that this is a published system so this is not in review or not in draft phase. It is the latest system which is updated and she can also see the data quality results associated with the system. So she clicks on the system to understand more details about the overview hierarchy lineage about the system. She further looks into the hierarchy tab of the system and she understands that there is a data set with the name patient data set associated with the system. She further clicks on the lineage tab to understand how the data is flowing into the system. She also chooses the max hops which is going to show her end-to-end -end flow with respect to the patient data set. Now selecting patient data sets 
Akshada understands that this is this data is flowing to the COVID infected patient report, which is what business has requested for. She will now add additional overlays to check if the report is regulated by the health policies and if the other information provided in the report is compliant. So she will be adding the policy overlays. Now as we can see on the screen, the COVID infected patient report is regulated by HIPAA policy and that is when Akshuda can trust the data within this particular report. Akshuda is interested in the data set from where the report is created to check the validity and completeness of the data. She now clicks on the associated data set which is COVID infected patient report. Now here she can see there are three different stakeholders associated with the data set which are responsible for governing the changes done to the data set. From the overview tab she understands that data set is built on the associated or using associated technical data set which is a tableau worksheet. So as you can see this is a tableau worksheet. She also understands that there are four different data elements associated with this particular data set. Now looking at the lineage flow Akshuda understands that this particular report information is flowing from the patient data set. Akshada now looks or clicks on the associated technical data set which takes her to the actual data set or the Tableau workbook. From the overview page she understands that workbook actually contains the data source and the worksheet. So she will be looking into the Tableau worksheet. From the lineage tab she can actually see that this particular Tableau worksheet is coming or the data is coming from multiple sources. So from the lineage flow diagram we can understand when you click on the COVID infected patients you can understand that data is actually flowing from the Oracle Healthcare database and S chain A is the schema from where the data is actually coming from. Akshada has come to a conclusion that the data that's flowing into the COVID infected patients report is actually coming from the Oracle source table and that is why she will further apply the overlay to understand the data quality, completeness, uniqueness and other quality metrics at the source level. So she can see that the Oracle table from which the report is being generated has is regulated by multiple policies and has the data quality checks done. So if she hovers over the data quality metric, she can actually see the complete result for all the associated data quality metrics. So as you can see, there are multiple uh, data quality metrics associated with this and most of them seem to be a good check. Akshada is now relieved that the data she is referring to is trusted and is well compliant within the data quality standards. She can further drill down at the data element level or the calculation level to understand which quality metrics are associated with these columns. So I'm just going to apply the overlay of completeness and we can see that patient table has completeness of 99%. You can always expand this to get the better view of the complete lineage. We can further apply the business term system policy uniqueness overlays to understand additional tagging with respect to these tables. As you can see on the screen the oracle table which is nothing but patient table has multiple business terms associated with it. It is regulating the HIPAA policy as well as it has the data quality uniqueness tagged along with it. Looking at the Tableau worksheet, Akshuda also confirms that the life cycle of the worksheet is published and there are two different governance administrators which are associated with this particular worksheet. She can also check if there are any governance tickets which are open for this worksheet and she can also have a look at what kind of changes were done to the worksheet, who has created, what is the reference ID of the worksheet. From the contains or the overview page of the worksheet or of the COVID infected patients, Akshada can see there is a rating of 5 star which is provided to the worksheet which further confirms that the data coming into the report is already validated by some stakeholder or data analyst and seems to be a good quality data. 
Now Akshuda wants to notify the marketplace administrator that the business requirement has been met or she has found the data which matches the requirement put forth by the business. So Akshuda will be notifying the marketplace administrator through a comment but she will also try to attach a proof that this particular information is valid or this particular information is trusted. So she already has a lineage present into the lineage tab. So she is just going to save this as a PNG or save this lineage uh, snippet as an image. Akshuda now has verified the quality parameters of the data, associated business terms and confirmed all the health policies and the processes associated with the technical as well as the business assets which are associated with this report are valid and now has come to a conclusion that the data within this particular report is trusted, verified and also governed and this is exactly what business has requested for. So she will go back to the report and she will just have a look at the associated stakeholders. Hence now she further notifies the marketplace administrator that the health report is now ready for consumption. She will now notify the administrator via a comment along with the supporting lineage flow, the lineage flow image which was downloaded from the worksheet lineage flow. So she is just going to add another rating that I have verified the data and this data seems to be trusted, verified and governed and she can see the life cycle is, pub life cycle is published. So she is just going to add a new comment. So you have to add mention the marketplace administrator who is Sachin in this case. She will also add the supporting image. So she is going to give a comment stating the data is ready for consumption. Akshuda as a data analyst has assessed the quality validity of the data and also has contextualized it from the business perspective. She has certified and notified the marketplace administrator as we can see over here along with the proof that this is the lineage. Now Sachin who is the marketplace administrator will review the data set and publish it for the end user consumption. Uh, over to you Sachin. Okay. Um, now, once the data analyst makes sure that the report is ready, uh, you know, the COVID infected patients reports are ready. That's what the business users was looking for initially, right? So now I'm being the marketplace admin administrator. So now based on the comment that data analyst has already informed me so that the uh, uh, report is ready, right? So COVID affected patients report. Okay. So user will get a notification for the comments which we have added. Okay. So COVID infected patient reports. This is the one actually. Okay. So now this is the report. I log into the data marketplace. Okay. This is another service in our uh, cloud environment itself. Okay. I'll make sure that this report is available in the marketplace for the consumer. That's where the business user is uh, looking at it actually. Right. Let's go to the setup. And in the integration part, a couple of things as an admin perspective, I'll just give an information about that. Data governance and catalog, just make it as an active because this the report is available at the governance and catalog so that we are linking that data set to the marketplace so that it is available for the the business users to 
uh, uh, you know, to put a request actually. Okay. And these are all the asset types you can uh, user has an option to choose whatever uh, uh, you know need to be selected from the governance perspective, right? So and now data asset. Okay. So here uh, uh, once the report is ready, correct? So now you can create a link. Okay. This is where the option you can link between the governance to the marketplace actually. Okay. And you can select now uh, the report anyway. Uh, uh, I got the information. What is that report is all about, right? So this is where we do have the information available for this, right? So this is the report which I need to publish now. Okay. Select this data asset. Okay. And then you can say next. And then you can say create link data. So which I have already done. So probably I'll show you what I have done it actually. Okay. So uh, okay, <clears throat> this is where I have published under healthcare category, and there is a collection under the category. Okay, that is called as uh, COVID patient details. Okay. It's a data collection, okay, under, uh, uh, you know, healthcare category, okay. So there is this COVID infected patient report under that, okay. I mean, you can have a number of data sets under this data collection. If not, you can create one more data collection and then add your own specific reports to that as well under a different category also, okay. So at uh, just a brief about, uh, you know, the hierarchy specifying like here, right? So these are all the different categories which we have. You can create your own organization specific categories like, you know, marketing products, anything under that, you can go for a different collections for the specific uh, uh, reports perspective, data perspective, right? So now this is all the admin related activities, okay? So, uh, uh, you know, I have make sure that everything is ready for the consumption, okay? Let me log out and uh, I log in as a, uh, the business user who is requesting for the, uh, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> specific report actually, right? Okay, so now I logged in as um, uh, Sophia, who is the, uh, uh, you know, the business user who is requesting for this one actually, okay? Uh, see the, he has access to only specific items, actually, for specific services, I would say, okay? So here is a data marketplace, okay? He can search for what the report he is looking for, actually, okay? So this is the uh, search facility which is available here, and he could select if he is, like, you know, aware of what is that report is all about and he, what is, like, you know, category which is available, and all he can he can put a request out of it, right? So now he was looking at the COVID patient details, right? So that's where, and and there is a specific categories which are created for that, right? So he could see, uh, 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 you know, what are the data assets or the data collections which are available in the healthcare industry, right? So. This user is a consumer, so that is what, like, you know, he is requesting the specific data so that he don't have any edit permissions for this, right? So that's one thing. So here is the report, right? So now, here is the check checkout. Uh, 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 you can you can put a request if the data assets or like, you know, the report he is looking for is not available. You can put a request to as a new data collection also. Okay, so that option is available. Okay. So now this, like, you know, consumer is, I would need this information, right? So that's where uh, I'm putting the business request also. Um, uh, would need, would need the COVID infected, uh, 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 you know, information for, for, to generate A report okay so this is what the information delivery request is like you know is good with that okay so whatever the delivery mechanism which is provided already okay you can select the cost center if it is required so 
then you could say next. So this this process is all about putting a request that I'm requesting this data set actually, right? That is a data collection, okay? So now uh, the details are available here. So once he submits the order, uh, a default workflow will kick off, okay? So submit the order, okay? So this is all about requesting it actually, okay? Then uh, now you could see the order is generated, okay? They can click on, on my orders, okay? COVID patient details, okay? So now it is in pending approval, okay? So the entire details will come, yeah? So now it goes to uh, the owner and the technical owner who is working on that actually, right? So now the request will go to the, the owner, okay? So I log off now, and then I log in as a data owner specific to that report, right? So, okay. So now I logged in as uh, uh, Sachin, okay? So, uh, uh, and again, he will get a notification, okay? And here is the one, customer patient details, okay? He can click on here. And even my orders, details, everything is available here also, right? So once, he, like, you know, the order is, like, you know, here, because he is the, uh, uh, you know, data owner of it, actually, right? Um, he has an option, uh, uh, you know, user, he can, he can, he can, if, 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 like, you know, if you are looking for any other approvals perspective and also that you can select any users and then you can put a comment on them, it will go to the respective person and then until they vote or probably they agree so that uh, uh, those kind of multiple approvals also can be uh, achieved using QR actually, right? So for now, I'll just say uh, uh, approve for the happy path actually, okay? Approved for the business use, okay? And I would say approve. Okay. So now it goes to the uh, technical user. Okay. <clears throat> so if we can uh, look at like, you know, uh, uh, what is that? The customer data collection. Uh, uh, okay. So let me go to the home page and the healthcare. I'll show you uh, how the persons are like, you know, uh, you know, what, what roles are, you know, uh, required here uh, to approve pro approval process kind of thing, right? So he's a data owner, right? And there's a technical owner who is responsible for approving and then finally fulfilling and then providing provisioning point of view, right? Access to the data to the consumer perspective. That is where the technical owner will take care of it actually, okay? So now, um, actual provisioning of the data, uh, which which needs to be, uh, uh, you know, using the another method, you know, kind of CI process, which is available in our cloud environment itself, you can you can achieve it actually, okay, or even including, uh, you know, using the, our IACS mappings, the rules can be created over there uh, for specific data and all, right? So. A technical owner, it's his responsibilities within the organization how to provision the data to the consumer, okay? Okay, so now uh, uh, I log out now. I log in as Rashmi, who is the technical owner of it, actually, okay? Okay, now I logged in as uh, Rashmi, who is a technical, technical owner of it, actually, right? So uh, this is where the details or all about a notification even that will be sent over the email also to the respective persons okay so now here the technical owner is responsibility to deliver uh, uh, to provision the data uh, to this uh, default delivery mechanism which we have already provided here right so uh, the target would be here okay uh, that's what the snowflake db which we have selected which we have provided, right, for the where the data is available, uh, you know, once the uh, once the approval process and fulfillment is done, so that it will notify the user that the data is available here, right? So now, the technical owner will make sure that 
as i mentioned right with the help of uh, ci with with our you know cloud another service okay or like you know uh, uh, ics rules mappings can be created to to provision the data right so it's up to the technical owner and within that organizations to how how to make sure that the data is available or you can provide a link also okay you can change the default del delivery you can mention that you no know, i would need this in in, in a separate uh, uh, link you can provide so that your data is available so that you can just provide a link so that user can get access to that right so that's how uh, uh, it's 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 your like a you know, user convenient to make sure that where the data is available okay and based on that now uh, uh, consider that the technical owner has fulfilled the data the so based on the information which i have provided that he can do it outside of this one okay of uh, he can make make use of any other services to make sure that provisioning the data okay so that he can automate that process and then finally here he can say fulfill and by putting information that um uh, i know data is available at the above location provided actually right so uh, that is how uh, he can he can make sure that the fulfill fulfillment will happen with the help of technical user okay so now um, once this fulfillment is done from the technical user perspective right so now uh, uh, yeah this is how it shows right now order is fulfilled okay so the now notification will go to the the consumer who has requested actually okay let me log in as a consumer okay so now i'll show you what is what is available for that okay now i logged in as sofia where i have requested right so um right so my orders uh, either like you know you can go for uh, looking at the notification also right access granted you could see it here itself you can go there okay and uh, you can see, you can see that available right data is available for the above location provided at the above location provided so this is how a uh, uh, user will get to know that i mean if a business user has requested initially that is how the uh, uh, the process started right so the business user puts a requirement that i would need this sort of reports can you give me the governed assets with enriched information for that so using the governance and catalog analyst make sure that before that admin make sure that everything is cataloged everything is ready and then analyst will make sure that enriching point of you uh, looking at each and every information about that and then certifying putting some sort of ratings everything enrichment is done from the data analyst purpose data analyst make sure that everything is ready for the publish right so once that is ready for the publish then uh, uh, you know marketplace admin will pitch in to publish that specific uh, report data asset or any information with related to the organization specific right he will publish it to the marketplace so that a consumer can consume it actually right so uh, this is uh, uh, you know Uh, 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 healthcare industries in a healthcare industry uh, specifically we took the covid patient details to publish this report to the business user they can consume it actually right so they can use it for uh, 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 you know kind of report generation or probably they can take some sort of decisions out of it actually right so this is the uh, you know end to end uh, demo okay thank you Hi all. We have reached the Q and A part. Please post your questions. Right. Any questions about cloud data governance? Uh, I think so there is one. We one question. There was a question. Are there any trials available for data governance cloud platform? Richard, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I would request to please reach out to your respective uh, CSM or account manager. uh they do provide the trial ones to you yeah any more questions is any other questions about the demo yeah 
Okay, there is one question. Once after the report is published and granted access, what kind of contents we can see in the the marketplace? <clears throat> okay. So, um, once it is published and uh, 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 you know, as you mentioned, granted access. So, uh, when a consumer has requested the specific report, and uh, technical owner, after the approval, he makes sure that the data is available to the consumer. Okay, so so after that, I mean, these things will take place outside of the marketplace, actually. Okay. But in the marketplace, you could see that consumer has got the access and approval process and all. So he could see the uh, entire audit process also, who has approved, who has granted that. Everything he could see it, mm -hmm. and it shows that, like, you know, to the consumer, it shows that data is available for you uh, in the, the location which is provided in the delivery location one, actually. Okay. <clears throat> Any more questions? Right, then uh, we will end today's webinar. Uh, thank you, Sachin, Rashmi, and Akshada for presenting today's webinar. As usual, you guys did great. Uh, we kindly request our audience to take up the survey and let us know your thoughts. Today's webinar recording will be available tomorrow on Success Portal under the Resources tab. And uh, we will end today's webinar. Thank you all for attending. Thank you. Thank you.